Hi guys, it's Darlene from Sitting for Carrots, and I wanted to talk to you today about DIY wood cleaner. Um, so your everyday wood cleaner that you would buy at the store, it can irritate your eyes, your skin, your respiratory system, so your throat, your lungs, your windpipe. So this is not good, right? Um, the DIY recipe that I'm going to show you today will do none of those things. It might accidentally moisturize your hands. Um, but other than that, it's very safe. Um, one of the most popular wood furniture oils cleaners out there, I looked it up on the EWG website, and it gets a grade of F. So why does it get a grade of F? Well, potential for cancer, skin irritation, um, allergies, and it affects your nervous system negatively. So this isn't good, right? Um, so let's talk about the essential oil that I'm actually going to use in um, my recipe. It's bergamot oil. Um, some of you might be familiar with Earl Grey tea. My kid went off to college and left all of her tea, so we've been enjoying it. Don't tell her, though, okay? Um, so you've probably smelled or tasted it before in your tea. Um, my college kid has a blog that she writes uh, mostly about books and writing and whatnot, but she does have a great post about her five favorite tea, so I will actually link that down in the description. And the EWG um, website that I talked about uh, where the popular store-bought brand of furniture oil gets an F. I will also link that down below. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and make the recipe. So it starts with olive oil. Easy, right? So we're going to do a half a cup of olive oil. So a half a cup, give or take. It doesn't have to be super exact. Make sure you're buying an organic olive oil. So half a cup of olive oil, very easy. We're going to do a cap full of the Thieves Household Cleaner. If you don't know what this is, you can go to my site, which I'll link below to the essential oil section, and you can find out how to get this. So we're going to do one cap full of the household cleaner. So that's going to be some of the cleaning action. It smells like gingerbread. It smells so good. It smells like Christmas. And then the bergamot oil, I'm going to do about 10 drops. So 10 drops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 11. Some of these drop out kind of quickly. Um, this smells so good. Bergamot is a citrus fruit. It's an orange, and it just smells clean and crisp, but it's a little warmer than your orange um, or your lemon because those are a little bit more crisp. Um, so let's go into the kitchen and see how this works. So here on the left, we have our DIY wood furniture cleaner, and on the right, a microfiber cloth in a lovely orange color. The reason I use the microfiber cloth is because the little fibers trap the dust and the dirt better, and then so it's not flying all around, or in this case, not being spread all over your clean cabinet. So here you can see my cabinet. It's dusty, it's dirty, it's just plain gross. And if you look over here, you can see there's some scratches and it's dry. So what we're going to do, we're going to start wiping down the cabinet and see how good it works. It's cleaning, it's conditioning. You can see how it's getting into all of the cracks and it's just working beautifully. So let's rub it down a little bit more. See how it's dry and then it's just looking so moisturized when we put the cloth with the oil all over it. So make sure you get this inside wood and then later I'll go back and I'll get the in actual inside of the cabinets. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more touch up here and get some of the spots that maybe have a little bit more oil or just need a little bit more moisturizing. So and we're going to pan out and you can see here on the left it's dirty it's dry kind of a before picture and then we're going to go over here to the right and it's just clean it's beautiful it smells great and that was easy right 
Right. I mean, you just dip your microfiber cloth in the oil, the cleaner that we made, and you just wipe your cabinets down or whatever other wood uh, furniture that you have. So um, something I did want to talk to you a little bit more about was the Thieves Household Cleaner um, that I used in my recipe. So this is a very safe product. Um, it's made, it's a vegetable and mineral base. Um, I love it because I have had so many reactions to so many cleaners and uh, countless other things, but I've had friends and family and even medical professionals point out that I should live in a bubble. Okay, so that gives you an idea of um, the type of reactions that I have to things. Uh, so finding this was a true blessing. Um, it was a curse though, you know, I thought for a long time having these reactions because um, I couldn't use any of the store-bought stuff. And, and as I got older, I had more uh, reactions. So I was down to just like vinegar and baking soda and lemon, which work okay. But then when I was able to start using essential oils with my all-purpose homemade cleaners, that really, really helped. It made them more effective um, and they smelled better, right? <laughs> um, and then finding the Thieves Household Cleaner was wonderful. Uh, because I have, I have no reaction to it at all, except for the fact that you smell gingerbread, because it smells like gingerbread. So that's awesome. Um, so it's really, really economical, too. It costs about a dollar to make like a spray bottle full of it, because it's um, for a light cleaner, you do a one to 60 ratio. Um, so super cheap. Um, so um, if you don't have the household cleaner, you can still make this. In fact, my friend Elena, she blogs over at The Rising Spoon. She has a recipe that's very similar to this, um, but she uses vinegar instead. Um, so you can definitely go check that out. I will link it down in the description. Um, now remember, I am using bergamot uh, from Young Living. I will only use essential oils from Young Living because I have done tons of research and um, I would implore you to also do research before you start just using any essential oil. They are very safe. I have never had a reaction to any of the oils that I've tried and I have tried upwards of 40 of them so far. Um, so definitely do your research. Um, the ones that you find in the store uh, it's not going to be all essential oil, you know. There's all kinds of other things that can show up in those bottles. So um, I, you can use other essential oils. You can use, for this recipe, you can use citrus fresh. You can use tea tree oil. Or you could use purification. Purification is a wonderful one uh, to clean with and will get the odors out. Um, so I would love for you guys to go and make this uh, cleaner and report back in the comments how much you loved it. Um, and I will link the blog post uh, down below for this cleaner so that um, you can you know, refer back to it later when you need to make uh, more of it. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.